art painting for me is about making that connection. It's something too that, you know, I have to do. And you hear artists say that a lot. Of, I know a lot of my friends say, it's, gosh, it's just something I feel like I have to do. And there's an emptiness and, and a void if, if I don't. So anyway, I got the show coming up in October. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more time. I'm gonna really be pushing it. I'm gonna try to have seven pieces completed. This the painting I'm working on right now. I think if it was like a smaller piece, it just wouldn't have the impact. It's most all my paintings are large, and they're difficult. And so it takes a lot out of you, really. It takes a lot out of me, you know, to 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 work a painting. Because each painting, I'm, I'm, I'm so com obsessed with, you know, getting it right and, and each piece being a little bit better than the last one. Uh, I, I just, if, if, I, if I can't accomplish that, then I'm just, I'm just, you know, it's just another job. You know, I, I need, I push myself as much as I can uh, to, you know, to really do something different each time. And it's hard to do. But anyway, uh, I was uh, born in Fort Worth, came from a um, you know, uh, modest family, struggling, uh, but I've always, you know, uh, was it, you know, just fascinated by, you know, artists, the art world, ever since I can remember. Matter of fact, I do remember my first painting. <laughs> I was in the first grade at seven years old as of a giraffe. I've been hooked ever since. After high school, I went to SMU, got a scholarship at SMU, fortunate. Um, you know, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, but it was a lot of, uh, mostly ego. Got kind of, you know, caught up in the 60s, and man, that was a crazy period. Kind of hit a bottom, probably two or three bottoms. I think that's the thing about art. It unravels sometimes the mysteries in our life, and we see it up on a canvas, and, and it kind of inspires us, or we just see it, and we go, wow. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm discovering as I paint and as I work, I, I, I discover that there's, there's, there's a reason why I'm, I'm working on the subjects I'm working on, it seems like. Uh, it's like I'm, I'm discovering afterwards what it is that I was inspired about. It's funny, I, I was in the airport one day, and I picked up that book, by Brian Greene, you know, The Elegant Universe. I was painting water, I was painting waves before that, but when I started reading his definition of how quantum mechanics works and how it all kind of comes together, it makes perfect sense to me. There's a mystery there. And, there, and there's a, the, I think that's the thing about art. It unravels sometimes the mysteries in our life. And we see it up on a canvas and, and it kind of inspires us or we just see it and we go, wow. You know, it speaks to me and sometimes you say, we don't understand why it speaks to us, but then we realize, there's a message that we've been dealing with. There's a, there's a, we've been going through a crisis that we've been dealing with. And there's something about that piece that, 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 that's personal. So I'm trying to focus on how water moves because I think uh, you, you, can, you can kind of see and, and sense intuitively there's, there's something about a wave and how it moves that, 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 that regulates not only our, our, our universe, but the things that we that we we are familiar with that we come in contact with, and so I think it's fascinating, and I think there's so much that leads to one's imagination. So that's 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 my story. That's what's been happening, and I'm still living my story. Mm -hmm.